Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful game for you played by Lorenzo Busnardo, who was a famous Italian chess player in the 16th century. The name of his opponent is unknown and the game was played in 1590 in Rome. Busnardo started with e4 and e5 by black, knight f3, knight c6 and as the game was played in Rome Busnardo goes for the Italian game bishop c4, bishop c5 c3, well the main move is knight f6 but black played queen e7, now white castles kingside, d6, d4, bishop b6, bishop g5 and not a good move by black f6 which is weakening the light squares and is occupying this f6 square not allowing the knight to develop, a better move was knight f6, but instead we see f6 bishop h4 and now comes an aggressive move by black g5 which is weakening the king side and now Lorenzo Bustardo is starting to use the weakness of the light squares here comes knight takes g5 sacrificing the knight in order to open up this d1 h5 diagonal f takes g5 queen h5 check king d7 Bishop takes g5 and a bad move by black queen g7. A better move was knight f6, though after queen h6, rook f8, f4, white's position is preferable and white has a strong attack. Let's go back, but this queen g7 move allows white to checkmate black king in 3 moves. You can pause the video and try to find the winning line. Ready? Busnardo played bishop e6 check, luring away this king which is covering the e8 square and after king takes e6 the queen jumps to e8 square giving a check, knight e7, but here comes this amazing d5 checkmate, white is checkmating black king with a pawn. I think that it's always a good idea to checkmate your opponent with a pawn. Your comments please, what do you think about this game? Good luck!